Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can restore a previous version uh, of the page in SharePoint Online. Uh, now, uh, in the past, just to let you know, we had this functionality as well, and what we used to do if we wanted, you know, let's say I made some changes to the, uh, to the page, I wanted to uh, come back to an earlier version of the page. In the past, we used to go to gear icon, site contents, site pages. We uh, would find the page, hit right click, version history, and then uh, we would uh, it would you know pretty much show us the whole history of the page, and then we would choose a particular version we wanted to restore, and we would hit restore button. Uh, I actually did a video on this. Um, a little bit earlier, uh, you can find it on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but now uh, Microsoft has recently modernized this whole experience. So we now have a, a new cool way to restore the previous version of the page. And let me demonstrate it to you. So actually, before I do that, let me make some changes to this page. So what I'm going to do, I'm you know going to move this over here. I'm going to add maybe uh, a text widget, all right? And um, uh, let's see, maybe I'll add another widget, all right? Let me add another widget over here. Perfect. Um, we'll call it uh, contact us, you know, just, uh, um, just so that we have something. Here we go, perfect. All right, let me publish it. Perfect, that's good enough for this. Um, so I want to come back to the earlier version of the page, um, obviously, I cannot uh, restore, you see there's this undo button because I already kind of published, right? I cannot undo anymore. So how do we restore the previous version of the page? Well, what you need to do is, um, what you need to do is you just need to uh, click the page details over here. Don't hit add bu edit button, hit page details. And on the right hand side, un click version history. And look at this. Look at this. Uh, it actually shows you um, the all the changes that occurred, um, you know, pretty much in the past. All right. Every time somebody uh, somebody hit that publish button, a new version was created. So right now we are up to version 18.0. And look at this. It actually shows you what happened between, you know, the currently published version and the previous version. Right. Or I can say, you know what, uh, let me see, I want to uh, maybe, you know, compare it to this version right here. You see, it actually shows me what happened between uh, the different versions. You see, it actually shows me, I remember I moved this web part, I added this to web part. Uh, so very, very convenient, uh, very convenient. As you make your text changes, uh, actually, let me demonstrate it to you. That's what I really love about it. So let me uh, just add some text in here. Um, uh, it works really great in that uh, regard. All right, so here we go. And uh, you know what I'm going to delete, uh, you know, add another word, delete um, the word I already had, hit publish. Uh, I just want to demonstrate this to you because this is so cool. Uh, again, uh, don't hit edit button, hit page details, version history. All right, and uh, look at this. It tells me that I edited the text, right? But how do I know what actually um, what actually changed? Look, we have this toggle button over here, and um, you just you know enable it, and it will actually highlight the changes that have occurred. All right, it will actually highlight. So remember, I deleted this word, I did this one. So it's almost like tracking changes in uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, and again, you know, I could do the same to um, uh, to you know one of the earlier versions, I think. We will get to see, you know, quite a bit of, uh, you know, differences. All right. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Now, how do we restore though? Uh, so let's say, you know, what we need to go back to how it used to be before I move this around. So uh, let me pick on the uh, version, I guess, um, you know, that um, uh, a good one, I guess. So uh, I think it's this one. So all you need to do is just click the three dots next to the version uh, you want to restore and hit restore, okay? And look at this, it's back, remember? It's back, this uh, module, this web part is back to where it used to be. My text widget is gone because I restored the uh, previous uh, version of the page. Uh, so um, uh, 
so yeah, it's uh, extremely cool and um, uh, it's extremely cool functionality. And uh, by the way, as you click on this, uh, look at this, I'm clicking on all these different uh, versions, you actually get to see uh, what the page looked like at that point of time. Uh, so that's an another cool thing. So a number of things you can do in this uh, panel. Again, this is pretty much uh, relatively new, uh, but the the coolest uh, feature out of all is the ability to highlight uh, the changes as well as um, as well as obviously restore in case if you mess it up and you want to restore a previous version of the page. Uh, one other thing before I forget, one other thing. So uh, look at this. I remember I restored this version of the page right here. What actually happens, it does restore it. If you notice, right, uh, it's back to how it used to be, you know, before we, when we started this video, but it does not publish it, right? It does not publish it. If you notice over here, uh, it actually creates what's called a minor version, version 19.1, right? It should be 20, but it's 19.1. And uh, the reason it does it, it actually does it on purpose because uh, let's say you restore the page, it wants to make sure that you are okay with the page before others get to see it. Because once you publish the page, others will see it, right? At the moment, it's only me who can see the changes uh, because I did not publish it. So essentially when you restore the previous version of the page, um, make sure to publish it. If you're okay with all the changes, yeah, we restored it, we're good. Make sure to publish, don't forget that. Otherwise, nobody will see your restored page. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.